Hello everybody, welcome to Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. Today we'll be doing a, pl a playthrough for this entire game. But also note I have played this game a lot of times before. So you won't see any wow reactions out of me or anything. Just another play, f uh, just another normal playthrough of the game. I hope you like it, and let's go in and have fun. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the local as precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk! Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly! <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time! Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping? Or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping. Because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? 
There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Okie dokie. Now we will have timestamps if you want to skip the cutscenes. Just in case, if you don't want to look at the cutscenes, we can come straight to the action. Oh yeah, and these are precursors. We're about to learn what they are. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Basically money. And money. There's nothing too special to these. There's just money. You can buy things with them. And power cell. This is a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. Also, in other words, that is a very powerful artifact. So don't mind uh, that that screen. This is what I copy right from the PlayStation 2 to the PlayStation 4. <laughs> Lurkers in this game are the enemies. As you would assume, maybe? Maybe you didn't assume, but that's what they are. And also, by collecting seven of these scout flies in each area, it gives you one power cell at, as you collect the seventh one. You can do it in any order. But once you collect the seventh one, that's when it gives you a power cell, that artifact that uh, we, we got earlier. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell! I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. It's Blue Eco which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Okay. Um, the power cells in this game is pretty much the um, way of the game just saying you need this in order to continue on. But in this game, we will be collecting all of the power cells. We're trying to 100% this. Um, I really um, don't care how long these views take. They're just here for fun. You don't have to watch them. They're just here for nostalgia. 
Okay, Blue Eco, as Demo, uh, Samos said, it just makes you run fast, be like a flash, but not too fast. And also, if you have noticed, there's a bar on the bottom right of my screen. Basically, what he said, he said, it just gives me a more time. Is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Basically what I have here right now. But before we go for there, we are learning these. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. As they said, just gives you the optimal energy on the bottom right. Nothing too special, and here's our third. Good work! The blue eco caused the door. Oh yeah, that was also another thing. A blue eco does attend to um, attract things to you. Uh, if you didn't notice that already. Okay. And here's a green ego. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. So if you look at. Um, oh, wait, I don't have it up. Okay, you see that um the heart, green heart on the top left? You That's just my health. Then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. I've collected all of pretty much the money that's in this area. And now the power cells. And this here is a warp gate. They turn on by push of a button and then when you use them, you can teleport to any of the location that allows you to, but it only says Green Sage's Hut because that's the only other place I have unlocked, so I can only warp there. So let's do that. training boys but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead and ah, no problem we got the moves eh jack we'd love to stay in chat big green but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures fine fine adventure away then and while you're out adventuring why don't you make yourself useful my darn green eco collectors are clogged up again Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! He's pretty cranky, but that's same house for that for you. Oh, now we're going to be talking to Kira. Hey, baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Yeah. So I have to cut it short, but the rest of my recording got corrupted. So I hope you're happy enough of all the, um, the video that you've seen. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye bye.